Welcome everyone. This is the Doc's Office Hours. It's the 21st of September. Let's look at the proposed agenda. And here you'll see topics. So Jonathan, we put you first. New migration, GitHub issues, then Hacktoberfest and Google Season of Docs. Anything else we should add to the list? Maybe if uh, uh, I, I saw the last meeting, uh, we have uh, many people working on it. So uh, maybe if you want to update to us about some topics. Uh, about sure. the Z Actually, Zena work and all like education, <laughs> like something. If impact uh, our work. Uh, Okay, I'm, I'm so I'm not sure what you're referencing. So, um, say say it again, Jonathan, for me. So you're thinking uh, status reports or? Oh, I, I guess I mixed the topics. I I saw another uh, video. It's not our session. Sorry. Oh no, that's okay. That's that's great. No problem. So, but we can certainly. We can certainly discuss status reports and uh, project progress because there are a number of topics there, like Jenkins 2.249.1 uh, has had many different things going on. Uh, Jenkins infrastructure, HTTPS for update center, uh, etc. So there, there are quite a number of those. Yeah, I can include those. Oh, that's the wrong place. I even put it in the wrong wrong entry. Sorry, just a minute. Let's put the notes not in history. Let's put the notes in current. There. Okay. So what I was what I wanted to be sure we went through, Jonathan, was the topic here, the new issues you've created and how we can use those for our work on Hacktoberfest. That was, for me, that's the crucial one for this particular meeting today. Okay. I should put a link there to Hacktoberfest, just a minute. We're now, Hacktoberfest is now on the Jumbotron. There we go, so. And are you okay if we look at the at the new issues you've submitted and talk through them, et cetera? No problem, let's start it. Okay, great. All right. You scared me when you said no problem, and I'm like, what do you mean you can't look at it? <laughs> uh, it's a hey, normal phrase here, man. But it is, it's a perfectly good one, but you hung on the no and scared me for <laughs> three seconds. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> made the wrong intonation, I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. A reminder so. to wait until the sentence is finished before you freak out. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's take a look at github.jenkins.io. So and we're now at 89. And I believe, Jonathan, that these are, yes. Okay, great. So let's, how about we take a look at one of them. Is there any one of these that you'd like to choose as the one that we look at so you can talk us through the techniques you're using now? Mm, no, it's uh, all, all of them, it's following the same uh, template. So okay. it's really similar. All right, go ahead. Okay, so uh, as I was speaking uh, in previous meeting, uh, we are using this template to create the issues. So the first part, the station and essential information, we have the page to migrate with the link. And uh, what we need to do, so for example, the proposal, uh, in this case, it's only redirects for the uh, indicated destination. So this issue is about the migrate for a plugin. Mm, oh, yeah, and, uh, yeah, I searched uh, the plugin and I uh, indicated 
correspondent uh, destination. So you did the, that's perfect. You did the research and that says yeah. this, this page with its rather long and verbose name is in fact yeah. the plugin documentation and here is the plugin page. Exactly. So if I, I compare the content, so if you click on the, uh, go back to issue please, uh, and click on the link in the destination proposal, plugins.jenkins, yeah, yeah, click on it. Okay, yeah, so this one yeah. is right here, right? Oh yeah, so it, it's the same plugin. Uh, I follow the link on the issue, uh, so on the old page, origin page. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and this one takes us to that exactly. same exact location. Very good. Yeah. Okay. So clearly, this was intended to be the documentation for that that plugin, and there is not an awful lot of content there. Good. Okay. okay. So, and the first time now, uh, the the next step now, uh, it's put uh, for example a new tag and uh, good to first, I, I guess. Good to Absolutely. first. Absolutely. Uh, so this. Yeah. So this one. So what it needs is a redirect and the, does the tutorial, I don't remember if the tutorial shows people how to do the redirect. I think it does. I, I think too, I can't remember right now. Okay, all right, so that's, so we need to redirect page to migrate and then the answer is redirect to the destination. That's yeah. elegant and I agree with you, this is a good first issue Good first issue. Yeah, exactly. Good first issue. That's is there a reason to do redirect and not just put the move the content to well, the page? That's that's what's actually quite important here. The content here is this block, and that's it. Yeah. All the rest, it says move to the README and is a bunch of comments and questions from users that we would not put into the documentation. So, so the, the content has already moved actually. And but in this case, yeah. Right. And, and even better, the content here is much, much more useful than that wiki page. Okay. Now, now something that this particular task could benefit from, but not, not in the context of Jenkins.io, but this particular plugin would benefit by having the transformation made to use it to deliver its documentation from GitHub. And then this content that we see here on the page would appear on the plugins.jenkins.io page. It doesn't right now. So this, this page could be dramatically better automatically if we made, if they would merge one change to the POM file on this, on this particular plugin. And I suspect there's already a pull request proposing that change. I can find it. Just... No, don't see it. Okay. Um, just my concern is I know the HTML proofer that we use for Cloudy Socks um, will not follow a redirect. So, so an XREF to that page that gets redirected will fail if it checks. Mm. Well, but so, so because I don't think we have much choice there. We've got we may to not redirect know. because wiki is read only. So this top page, uh, let's go there. This page, whoops, this page right here, the one that opens when I click the top link is in fact only readable. No one can write to it. Right. And therefore it's not going to help anyone find the information. They have to search and get lucky that they find this hyperlink. Right. Yeah, and you are, yeah, and uh, we need to remember we are using redirect because uh, this page is one of the most accessed page following the, so it's important to do the redirect. Right, right, good point. Yeah, so we've got this, we've got this report that tells us which pages are, are actively used and this is, this is now up in the list. Good. Yeah, exactly. I, uh, near for 1,000th access. And oh, now right. we're All right. Um, also a side question. So 
we're updating the terminology in Jenkins now, even though the software has not yet been updated? We're doing, we're doing both, right? So we intend to both update the documentation and update the software to, to address the first, yeah. the first two are the hot yeah. spots right now. Right. And, but the others, yes, we are also doing the other two also. Yeah, after our previous meeting, I, I added the section about terminology just uh, as a reminder to guarantee yeah. the other. Okay. Very good. And I'm, kind of, I'm concerned that it's going to be confusing if the documentation says I'm doing a controller and the software says it's a master, but it may be we just need to live with that. Yeah, the 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 usual problem has been that the that the software makes the change and the documentation never catches up. Uh -huh, so I yeah. would love for once to have the problem that the documentation is ahead uh -huh. of the software. Indeed. Okay, the follow sections about the tutorial and uh, additional information is uh, why it's important to uh, migrate the page. And the next, uh, the last one is about the redirect. So when the, you know, we migrate the content, then we need to redirect. So I, I guess it's everything a uh, volunteer needed to work on. Right. Now, now, for this specific one, because it's just a redirect, I think it's safe for me to delete the additional information, isn't it? Oh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's on you. I just put there because it's the template. It's the same for every issue. So all issues will, be, will have the same content. Yeah, and my thought was for someone who's seeing this as a first time, as the first thing they see, I worry that that they won't understand that this is just boilerplate. Well, uh, I, I get as a concept uh, the way I work on it. So, for example, when I start to work with you, I ask questions, I research, I read, I watch the previous video section. So, if the people it's working do the same, they can figure out what what this test can uh, say to him. So, I guess it's the follow a path to work on. Uh, Jenkins. No clear for you. <laughs> no, it, no, it, I think it, it's clear to me. I'm just concerned. Uh -huh. I'm not sure I want that level of test for these first time particular because we're, we're coming up in about 10 days. We've got mm -hmm. Hacktoberfest starting and for there are many folks, many people there who would, who will help us and then quickly drop off because they did something just for the fun of it, and we want to get as good mm. results from them as we can. So okay. I think I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and. Well, so, uh, but uh, for example, what do you uh, right now? You are uh, doing a triage on the previous issue I have had. Uh, that's so correct. So I, I get, I guess it's the important work to do. So for example, I, I go there and. and do the research and create the issue. And the next step, you read and, uh, and mark. For example, it's good issue, uh, edit on it, remove the uh, the content you guess is not important for first issue yeah, and save it. I, I, I guess it's a good path to follow. And, and I think that makes sense. You've, I, you have a good point, Jonathan, that, that having two of us involved in thinking about it will probably give us even better than than if we do only just one person working it. Good. Exactly. Okay, very That's good. The point. That because this, the, the benefit, they get a video that shows them, hey, here's, here's how you do this. And they, they've got very specific instructions immediately that say, you need to do the following redirect. Good, okay. Yeah. So, for example, uh, maybe for this kind of uh, issue, uh, it's a, a a good thing to record a new video explaining how to do exactly the redirection. Not, uh, for example, because this video 
uh, we link it, it's about a, a page week migration, not uh, only about the redirect. Right, right. So it might be better if we had a segment which was just how do you do how do you do a, a redirect? Yeah, exactly. For, for, for example, go go to the next uh, the last session, the, the issue last session. Go down, please. Oh, go back. Oops. Yeah. So okay. So, so uh, yeah. So about the redirection uh, process, it's uh, uh, the instructions are uh, a redirect should be set up by sending PR for this file. Just take uh, uh, previous samples, past samples. So to me, it was enough to this phrase to work. Maybe for a newcomers, maybe not. Maybe a right. new help more. Well, and in particular, because at least for me, the syntax of that vhost.com file was not immediately obvious what it's, what does it mean? Right, and, and reading through where to put it and why was was more complicated. So yeah, good point. Yeah. All right, excellent. That's that's great. Thank you, Jonathan. So okay. do we want do we want to take a look at any of the other issues? Were there any in this new set that you submitted? That okay, you think, just, oh, just, just pick one. Okay, how about troubleshooting articles page? Oh, okay, this is another one where it's just a redirect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good. Okay, very good. Well, well, that's encouraging because you've done you've done the triage work to review this original page. You've, as a human being, looked at it and said look, this makes more sense to go here than here. Exactly. So it's oh, a, a, a big start, I guess. That, that is, that's wonderful. Okay, so, the, so then the, the task there really is visit those and say, yes, these are good first issues and then label them. And if I remember correctly, you don't you we haven't yet granted you permission to assign that label so that that assures us a two-step process for now and as we get better at this we may grant you permissions to allow you to do good first issue as well okay but, but i like i like the two-step process i think that's very healthy for us all right excellent so uh, uh, please uh, an important point and uh, just to go uh, uh, just wait a moment. Uh, let me find the. Oh, go back, please. Yeah, just a moment. Uh, the Vox Foundation, Gary Kidd, Authentication. Uh, please uh, click on the migration uh, display information about the nodes. Then, uh, yes, this one. Okay. Good. So, for example, uh, in this uh, kind of page, we have a problem because uh, uh, the destination, uh, the destination, click on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, just a minute. Let me get rid of some yeah. some old tabs. Okay. okay. All right. Now, okay, this one. So the destination. Let me see. Yeah, the destination link. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. No, so no. this. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Go, go ahead, please. This one is is sort of a hot spot for Megan for me because this should probably now be named well. So this one's talking about all sorts of things agent related, and there's very little here, but there's an awful lot that we need to know about agents. And so yeah. so this one is a is a poster child of a wiki page that has lots of very good. Oh no, this one doesn't have this one's not terribly useful. Okay. This, mm -hmm. this target page needs lots of information on it and has nothing particularly useful for a typical user. This, this script, monitor and restart offline agents, is, is a very specialized, unique thing, not, not the thing that needs to tell us, here are this different types of agents, and here's when you use an ephemeral agent. And so, exactly. Yeah. And, and, there, and there is another point, too. For example, go back to issues, issues, issues tabs, please. Okay, issues. Did I lose? Oh, issues. Yeah, this. Yeah. Okay, so issues. you want to go back to issues? Go back, yeah. 
uh, go down more, 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 more. Go down more. There is another, yeah. Just uh, let me find them. And post validation script. Try to uh, uh, post initialization script. Yeah, that's one. Oh, there is a problem. Uh, the, 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 the destination proposal didn't go on the template. I will, I will correct them. But it's about the APR I sent it about the Jenkins agent. So the APR wasn't uh, approval yet. And we need to migrate content to there. Oh, so, oh okay. So, I, I I can't I can't migrate because the PR wasn't approved. Right. So this one, this one, this issue has a dependency that we need to get the existing PR in before this exactly. one will make any sense. Okay. So you get it. So yeah. that's that one. There's a great way to to say that something like this this PR this issue needs PR number and then we we find it let's see post initialization I have I'll have to, let me go look for it really quickly here because what it really needs is exactly the issue that the PR that you've submitted we need to get it merged so that it's there as a precondition so is it yeah if you put the author as Jonathan it's nice. Yeah, get your author, get JD. Get JD. Exactly. I think I got that. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, so uh, agent architecture. Yeah. Great. That's on. All right. So thirty-five eleven. And that's that's saying merge before work starts on this issue. Because you've given us a place to put things with the agent architecture page, but we need to get that merged. Exactly. So Eric, Oleg asked for some modifications. I already sent it. Great. But uh, it's waiting for the next uh, review. Yeah, and, and Oleg won't be able to review. He's probably offline for at least another week or two, potentially a month. Uh, with other things, but I should be able to help with it. So that's that's a that's a good one. That knowing that it's we've got another issue that is pending on it. Good, very good. Okay, so this one, this one for me, I would not flag as good first issue because it has this dependency. Exactly. All right. Uh, yet about issues, can uh, you go to work progress uh, tab? Yeah, mm -hmm. click on it. Work conversion, uh, Google Drum, okay. So go to issue maker, the, the third tab. Okay, okay. so I, I put on yellow uh, data pages, I, I can figure out the destination. Sometimes because it's a a development content development uh, guy, so for example, so get one. Uh, yes, this is a nice sample. Jenkins is hanging on. I uh, hanging. I, Let's yeah. see what you said. Jenkins is hanging. I missed that. Hanging. It's the. Oh, there it is. Good. Okay, yeah. here this way. All right. Click click on the page. Mm -hmm. It's a, a strange concept to be on the documentation. So it's uh, so uh, it's not uh, so objective. Yes, well, and, and and isn't this isn't this really this one for me is is a subset of the information? How do you report a bug? Because I yeah. think if Jenkins hangs, it's a bug. And so I would propose that this page should be redirected to how to report a bug. I, I, I agree. I, I think the same. 
because it's not so it's not objective content right right yeah it, it is it is very subjective yeah so yeah okay so you can put uh, uh, in front of only head directs I, I will create the issue oh okay great okay uh, let's see so it's subset of how to report a bug okay and and that it may be that the content is not in how to report a bug but my guess is um this information is probably well let's see when was it last yeah here we go look created in 2013. so <laughs> so, so the, pa the page is seven years old and this class of failure hasn't hasn't been common with jenkins for a very long time this type of failure. Okay, good. So, uh, on the, I, I put some comments on the sheet. For example, go to logger configuration. Logger configuration. Okay, good. Okay. All right. Uh, so, go to the page. So, for example, uh, my doubt here is because we already have a page uh, speaking about logger, but uh, it's a old page, old content too. So I don't know if uh, uh, logger on Jenkins is handler in the same way. For example, Woodson dot model and Java dot dot login. Maybe it's not more. Uh, useful for new versions on Jenkins. How, and, how will it can figure out that? And oddly enough, I found this one for me has been, well, at least I've used the loggers just very recently and found them to be very helpful. But let me let me do a quick, quick show because I thought we had this that information already on uh, loggers. Yeah, we do. Okay, good. So, so this has a, we've got a page already that I think we could redirect that to immediately. And this page is okay. actually current. So okay. that's a, I, that's a very good one. You okay. just found a page that we should redirect. <laughs> and, and I think I don't see anything in this page. Well, I, I, so when I, I thought I, I speak about the developer content, it's because the last paragraph. So uh, oh. you can have a link there. See Java logger overview. So right. if, if you saw that link, it's about developer logger, not a Jenkins logger properly. Clicking on it, it's, I, I guess it's going to Oracle page. Right, and it's yeah. going to a, a really old last update 2001 so a really oh. really long ago how you do logging and i think i think by yeah. now they may have replaced it with eight although i don't know if they rewrote this oh they did so so if we wanted to point someone to to the, the oracle docs but really the the cool thing about the jenkins logger is it makes the java logging facilities trivially available for a user mm, of Jenkins. So the, the new versions uh, you can set. Okay, so just a redirect to it's a good uh, issue, first issue. Yeah, yeah, that, and that one I think would be a good first issue. So now in the way to identify that you used only redirects? Yeah, exactly. So template will be prepared to change the issue. Very good. So we need to see all yellow items, maybe another time to not to take our meeting time. What do you get? Yeah, well, you but, but this is, this is, these are great candidates for, for, for example, the one that you highlighted here in yellow static analysis in pipeline static analysis is quite a popular topic. And so having, having that correctly redirect will probably be a big help and point it to the warnings ng plugin 
rather than to to this because I think yeah in fact this is early documentation of warnings ng this is but it's frozen in time now and so the current documentation for it is is on the plugin page there is a plugin so at the static pipeline but there's so what there is is there's a plugin in there page. Is a plugin. yeah yeah so there is a plugin page oh i didn't know oh, for Let's see, Jenkins, Jenkins, warnings, NG. So this plugin has, has the, has documentation and introductory video, all sorts of, of great guidance for users. And this is the redirect for that page. So yeah, this is, this is a really good one that you detected because it should be only a redirect because much better information is now available from the plugin site than from that wiki page. Uh, the next one I'm getting uh, out of memory, maybe say obsolete content too, it's about a developer, I, I guess. Yeah, see, and I would have thought this would, yeah, so this was, I would think this is an a, a an administrator topic but that we would have had something like this already in on jenkins.io that's let's see you don't interesting okay so so that that one looks like See, I would have expected it to be somewhere like system administration and be a page here on, on diagnosing Jenkins. In fact, um, Meg, didn't you tell me that, that there are presentations at DevOps World on there diagnosing is. Jenkins? There is, yes. Yeah, but we, we don't have a topic about diagnosing. So, for example, we have not a, a talk about, uh, talk about a common errors on Jenkins or how handle errors or something like that. We, we didn't. We don't have one kind right. of the destination to put. You're you're correct. This would be brand new material. You're absolutely right. This this doesn't seem to exist as as the information that's here is not anywhere on Jenkins.io that I can see. So, how, what do, do you think about a new page, a new section, or nothing? Yeah. So I, I would propose. You know, let's tell me what you think. I would, I would propose making it a, a new, a new page. Mm -hmm. New page in sysadmin section and something like now i need to edit it um out of or maybe we should just call it diagnosing jenkins errors oh common errors uh, ooh, ooh, okay. even better yes very good common errors or maybe it's just diagnosing errors yeah uh, it's a good one because because really it's that gives us a place to put, hey, what about out of memory? What about of what about um, excessive garbage collection? What about, um, oh, things got slow and I need to find out why? Right. And what's your stack trace and how do you read it? And right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And it's not directly related uh, with Jenkins, it's Java, but uh, we will help you to use Jenkins better. Right, right, exactly. The better way. Yep. And we do have a session on diagnosing, diagnosing memory leaks. Um, and we have another one on de called demystifying uh, debugging speed logging. Oh, and, and now, now, okay, that's, a, that's an interesting one. I think we would be we could be potentially allowed to embed the video recordings of those into these pages. I hadn't I haven't checked with Cloudbees to see if they're willing to allow us to 
after the conference is complete, embed videos of those into Jenkins.io pages. But maybe let's let me put that as an action item for me okay. to see because we've we've done it before with with video recordings of other conferences. Are we allowed to embed uh, conference? So DevOps world uh, session recordings in the docs. And I'm also hoping to put them into the Cloud Beast training, but um, be, having being able to actually do that, Mark knows the sad story. So, and I, I see no problem if it shows up in both places, actually. Right. Yeah, that's great. Okay. In the, in the next case, if it's not allowed to embed it, we can uh, show the video and replicate examples with our proper content. Mm, right. Just to get the idea from video and create a new one. Absolutely. Yeah. If someone wanted to, to rephrase it, just that for me feels like a lot of work that I'd rather not do if, and, and it doesn't help promote their videos either. So they may they may actually like that. Hey, we placed it there, so it helps promote the fact that they did this video. That's a good point. The one slight problem I don't know is that they may mention cloud bees in a way that will make the community unhappy. <clears throat> right. So we'd have to review the video to be sure. Yeah. And I'm I, uh, I've seen the demystifying uh, through logging video and it's excellent but i'm i'm think that they've done it's pretty much stuff that's applicable to both the open source and cloud bci but i think there may be more uh it, there's definitely something where it talks about a feature you get in cloud bci that's not in there it uh, might aggravate the community i don't know right valid point okay yeah no okay, Mark. so oh, go ahead this the issue, the issue you open, uh, it's a good sample. Uh, building Jenkins is a 100% about development. So just go there. It's about to check out the source uh, from Jenkins um, and build it with Maven uh, and move on. Mm -hmm. So uh, this kind of content needs to be migrated to Jenkins.io or not, because it's the same uh, uh, inside the readme.md file. And, and we've got a, a Maybe big Maybe only a redirect for this page is uh, no. Yeah, so we've got, well, we've got, um, let's see, do we, uh, compiling Jenkins from source. I thought we had that already on. Okay, I don't see it immediately. All right, so that's, I thought we had in, so for instance, we've got a tutorial for plugin development, but this is not Jenkins core. This is a plugin that, that depends on Jenkins core. Good point, good point. Maybe a and new page on tutorial. That that could be, or or let's see, I thought there was, yeah, and I don't see one here that talks about how to build Jenkins. So there's Jenkins CLI. So so this so it looks to me like this information is not there, and and it might justify either a tutorial, a second tutorial, which is how to do how to this is. This is the more common one, right? Hey, plugins, most people don't have to build Jenkins, but if you want to build Jenkins, we might put it maybe in a how to guide or Yeah, that Yeah, so I, I suspect we may want to do a how to guide how to build Jenkins from source or how to, okay. how to Is it possible to break up that how to guides into subsections? I, I I think it must be. I mean, you see the the leading keyword and code. I know. So. That I would say it looks obvious. I'm I'm thinking the old rule of seven, and I'm thinking that list is already getting hard to read. Well, and I now I wonder this this 
concept of how-to guides may actually be generated from data in the documentation that says it's a how-to guide about this topic. And so this, this thing might in fact be already something we could in the, in the Ruby code that generates this page, do follow your guidance, Meg, and create subs or headings and, and then place the topics under the headings. So extensibility, security, yeah. views, et cetera. Yeah. So back to the developer uh, documentation, so maybe there is no big problem. It's so programmatically organized. Developers can't read. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, exactly. hey, hey, I don't. Yeah, I don't mean they're illiterate. I mean that hey. most developers' way of getting information is not reading. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah I did, know. I we need to the save words. our life, Meg. Huh? We need to save life. <laughs> I've spent most of my career documenting for developers, and right. I've I've actually done tests. I can put any crap at all in a paragraph and ask them to review it. And they will see tables, they will see lists, they will see charts. And, <laughs> and I can put some absurdity in a paragraph and almost nobody will catch it. Yes. yes. Hey, Vlad showed up. Hi, Vlad. <laughs> yes, hey, I'm sorry. I, uh, I guess I didn't turn on uh, the microphone. I got uh, email saying that this meeting had been canceled. That is why I just didn't. Oh, oh so... So that was that I, we had canceled last week's meeting. It should still be my apologies. Maybe I made a calendaring error and didn't have it on this week's. But I, it, it, we're definitely back on. I'll forward it to you again, Vlad. We only, we canceled last week because nobody came, so we didn't cancel before nobody came. Well, and I think wasn't last week a national holiday? No, was it? Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, yeah. Two weeks ago. And then last week was when you and I sat and. Right, so, and talk so about I'll, I'll forward minutes. you another invite, Vlad. That way you've got it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, uh, Mark, we are out, uh, almost in the last uh, minutes of the meeting. You, you want to go to the next stop? From oh, let, let's do. I think we made good progress there. Yeah. And, and the progress we made is a good lead in to the next topic. So let's take it just briefly. Okay, so beginning October 1, we have Hacktoberfest. And Hacktoberfest is an invitation for people to in, engage with open source communities. Uh, the incentive is if you contribute four pull requests, to an open source community during between October 1 and October 31, DigitalOcean will send you a t-shirt that says that you contributed to Hacktoberfest. And if you wish, they'll also, instead of sending you a t-shirt, they'll donate by planting trees instead. So you can choose either. Uh, the, the page here describes places where you can contribute. I just submitted the update on this page this morning and boldly included the Jenkins website, what we're talking about here, as one of the featured projects with our list of good first issues as candidates that they should be considering working on. But we've only got 11 good first issues. And last year, I think we, we, we completed 10 or 15-ish good first issues in the first week or so. So, so we'll be, we should look for more good first issues for, for the, uh, for the Jenkins.io website. So that was, and that was my intent there. We may also do a, um, an, a recording session or a, a, a meetup session to highlight how to contribute to documentation. Like we did last year, we might, we might want to a sometime in October say, here's how you can help with Jenkins documentation. So you will uh, record another video about the, how to contribute. That's, that's what I was thinking is, and I thought this time it might be fun, Jonathan, to have you be one of the presenters and Vlad be one of the presenters and me be a presenter. And we could rotate through the three of us 
saying, hey, look, here's, here's this piece of it, and here's this piece. Maybe, Jonathan, we have you show how to do a redirect, or, or you know, each of us chooses a piece, and we consider doing it sometime during October. Okay, you say good point. Uh, so we resolve two issues with the same solution. Right. So Vlad, would you be willing to be part of it, that kind of a meetup to be one of the presenters and I'd be one and Jonathan? Uh, yes, I would be glad. And also tomorrow I'm presenting on the meetup which was organized by CDF and I'm going to talk about Jenkins and uh, well, going to engage newcomers to Jenkins and saying that Jenkins is well, um, not so complex as some people think. And so you can easily start contributing to Jenkins. This is kind of the message that I would like to deliver. And I'm going to talk about Jenkins and Docker and also say how it is possible using official Gen Docker image to uh, uh, call Docker agents inside uh, uh, pipelines, declarative pipelines, something like this. Something tutorial uh, like uh, which we uh, still have, I guess, on Jenkins.io is still pointing to outdated uh, Jenkins CI Blue Ocean Docker image. Right. So we had intention of like, substituting it with uh, with official Docker image. So I'm going to present it tomorrow, see how is the feedback and in case if there will be no, <laughs> uh, well, um, somebody will accept it. Well, in this case, I may consider updating tutorial as well. Excellent. Thank you, Vlad. That's great. If we want first issues, have we, I'm back to this um, terminology change thing, which is weighing heavy. It seems to me that at appropriate points and quote unquote, because we need to define that, we need a quick page that talks about the, the terminology change being made and why it's being made and this sort of stuff. And to translate it so that people, you know, there's going to be a point of time where people are gonna have to deal with the fact that some of the docs are gonna say master and some are gonna say controllers and, you know, and this sort of thing. And then that's a ton of, that's good first. All I have to do is understand how to, you know, do a GitHub branch and edit ASCII doc. And, you know, that would be wonderful stuff to have a whole bunch of people you know, we if we had enough participation, we might be able to uh, get get that largely done in Oktoberfest. Uh, you know, if if we get a large number of sort of naive users who just want to get into it. Yeah, so that's 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 very good. Um, that one would need that might lobby us towards uh, the technique, the the templated issue report that that Jonathan has been doing. Of we. Maybe we put that as one of our topics, actually, converting terminology. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, but an issue just uh, uh, converting terminologies may be caused to uh, some problems. For, for example, uh, imagine if uh, thousands of pages just uh, receiving PRs, uh, we have a, a big queue of 200. Uh, just to uh, uh, update the terminology terms uh, without uh, uh, review the content uh, and update the content. Uh, what do you guys about? What do you guys think about? Yes, that? so I was assuming that in, in order to not get 10,000 tiny little pull requests that just change the word once, that we would, exactly. we would break, we would assign things by sections in the issue list. So here, I was going to do a quick check just to see. I think if we do a git rep minus L master, we can identify some pretty quick. Okay, so blogs have actually been converted already as a section. And what else has, I believe, change logs have 
in, in this one. But for instance, administration as a section has not been touched. And managing as a section hasn't been touched. So those might be reasonable issues as a group to say, convert all of the pipeline references to master, convert all of the system administration to master. Yeah, it's better, I, I, I guess it's better by section. I mean, for, for instance, security has, let's, let's do it differently. Minus W and even that. Yeah, so, so the security advisories I know have been converted because Daniel Beck did those very early. But others, for instance, Google Summer of Code, um, we've got lots of places we could do those conversions and do them as, as blocks or groups. Does yeah, that seem okay? I, I guess it's a, a good issue first, good first issue. Because yes. it's just a replace content. I think so. Yeah, I would think that. And, and it's a section, so it's not so large that they risk being overwhelmed by, they made a change in their review and the change they made was flawed and the reviewers rejected it and threw the whole pull request away. Right. Whereas if you're just on a single section, a, a change is probably, a, a mistake is relatively small and can be corrected without, without destroying the entire pull request. Right. Okay, so uh, for the next meeting, uh, can you open this issue about sex? Because you have the content with you. Yeah. Are, are you noticing that you have the next bullet issue is terminology change issues also? Oh, here, let's put it. Yeah, so, so let's put it there. Good. So let's do it that way. We could put it in the, in our video, in our meetup session and se proposed section. So here's Jonathan, I think this is what you were requesting, right? Is could we just have some proposed sections for it and put those into the list and then generate issues for them? Exactly, because uh, as you said, the 1st October, it's uh, next hour, maybe two weeks to register all issues. Right, all right. Things. Yeah, so, so let's say, let's go with, Actually, and I can do this. I think I can do this separately. I don't need to make everybody here wait for it. Let me just from Mark. So I'll just prep them. I'll get it into this document so that we don't go over our ending time. And and then Jonathan, if you or if you and Vlad together can can combine to create good first proposed issues for those, that would be great. Or create one and notify me and I I can look at it and we can talk about, hey, how's the phrasing on this? And once we get a, an initial one, of course, then of we course. create many of them. Uh, Mark, have we noted the, the thing to look at the how to, the list of how to guides and see I if that could not. be broken up by into, can we ever, does everybody know the rule of seven or is that common parlance? But to, to better format. Really, it's raise a GitHub issue to better format the how-to guides. List. Yeah, need uh, headings or some other form of organization instead of one giant list. Good. Meg, do you want to be the one to raise to raise that GitHub issue? I guess I could. I've never. Let me see if I can do that. I have not done that, but I should be able to, right? Uh, you absolutely should be able to. You just click the green new issue button over there. Okay. And it will take you through what type of issue it is, and you can describe it. Okay. I will do that. Excellent. Just, I, oh, 
uh, Mark, I just wanted to mention, uh, continue this term, uh, terminology stuff, which uh, Meg mentioned. Uh, I noticed that he was searching for master. Uh, my understanding master is kind of outdated term, which is going to be replaced by controller. Correct, that's right. And it looks like there is uh, there are not many sections where controller is mentioned in our documentation, so there will be a lot of kind of change. Right. Yeah, exactly, Vlad. You 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 got it precisely. That that we know we've got many many places where those two transformations have to be made, and then we have uh, whitelist and blacklist as well. <laughs> But those need a, they, those have a more involved fix. They actually need phrasing work usually to improve the phrasing. All right. Any, anything else? We need to change, we need to explain the terminology switch someplace. Where is the right place to do that in this set? Do we want it at the beginning of each of these guides? Um, yeah, I would, I would, I would prefer personally just a hyperlink, because long term we hope people will just stop right. being confused by it. Right. Right. So, it's it's an interim piece that needs to go away. Right, and we've got uh, if we look for, for instance, let's look for. Let's pick this and we'll look for a different one. It's slide omics, I think. Nope, slide omics. No, okay, I've got to find Alex's blog post. Alex Earl blog post terminology. Here we go, slide omics. Nope, it wasn't him who even, okay. Jenkins terminology, sorry. Just a minute. And on Jenkins terminology up, oh, this is from Marky Jackson, right? Okay. So so this one yeah. is the oh. the introduction to it. And then, then it continues with there are actually, there's a more recent post. Oh no, this one is the most recent. This one is June where, where it was updated. And then Alex Earl posted one on the Continuous Delivery Foundation about the next, next level of this. There it is. No, no, that's not it. Sorry, I can't find it here trivially. That's we can weird. work it. It's something to think about as we're looking at stuff during the week. Right. Um, Absolutely. And then where do we put links and what do they look like is still an issue. But yeah, because what I'm thinking is for if people are going to try to make um, four PRs that get them a t shirt, that a lot of people might at the beginning do one of these and then be able to go on, move on, and do something a little more interesting. Right. Right. Later. That's That's a good point. You, if your first experience was, Oh yeah, that was pretty simple. You may say, oh, I'll try more of more, something more interesting or more challenging. And we do include that the instructions about doing this explain the special circle in hell for anybody who does a global search and replace. <laughs> no, although that's a, that should probably be in the, uh, in the, uh, in the uh, template that we yeah. are intentionally working through these section at a time because, um, it's too much. It's we will reject pull requests that propose to change everything. They're just too large. We they, it, it needs more thought. Yes, although but will you see that and how I did that? I'm not. You would see each line that got changed, but if you know, you've got to read them. But so to somebody who's never been through these, as we all know this, somebody who's never been through this as a reader, it's like not a big deal. You just do a global search and replace, and you're done. Right and. and yeah, we've we've all we've all seen that one, right? Um, but uh, yeah. Okay, I think we've covered the topics. We've covered a number of topics. I propose we call it done for today, and we can we can carry this forward. We'll meet again in a week. Outstanding.
Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Bye. you, everybody. Have a good. Oh, um, I won't be here next week. All but right. I'll read okay. the minutes afterwards. Sorry, Jewish holidays. <laughs> <laughs> All the best to you, Meg. Enjoy. Thank you. I intend to. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.